Hey guys, this is Joy Cho from Oh Joy. Today I'm here with more business tips. Okay, so coming up with names. Now, first we'll talk about using your personal name. I think that using your own name works in a few cases. Number one, if your name is really easy to say and easy to read. I think that if you have a name that is easy to say, easy to spell, easy to read, and the type of work you're doing is something that is mostly about you, maybe you're a photographer or a writer or something that's a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, and um, you're the one who's mostly working with your client or with your customer, it can be your name. Granted, all of those other things that I mentioned before about ease of pronunciation and ease of reading. Now, if you do go by your name, remember, it doesn't mean you can't expand your business. It doesn't mean that you can't have more people working for you. For example, Jonathan Adler has a company that's by his name, and he has a ton of employees. He has stores around the country. He has a very successful line of home decor that's in department stores and retail stores and everywhere. But he's also the face of his brand. So if you want your company to be your name and that it could potentially expand into a bigger company than just you, you also have to be ready to be the face of your brand and the show off your lifestyle as part of your brand. Now, the other option is coming up with a business name that is not your name. And I think this is a good option for if there's multiple people in the business, if you don't necessarily want to be the face of your brand, or if what you do doesn't necessarily make sense to be um, a person's first and last name. And in this case, the same things apply. I mean, I could talk to you for 30 minutes about coming up with names, but the bare basics do still have to do with something that's easy to say, something that's easy to read, that something can, somebody can figure out if you say at a party what the name of your business is, people can understand it right off the bat. And also being specific enough so that people know based on the name what you might be doing. Um, sometimes these days there are names that are like super cool and hip. So let's say for example you have a boutique and you want to call it The Shop. It might sound cool because it sounds kind of vague and you know there's kind of room for growth there. It's not too specific. But if you try and do an internet search for The Shop attached to whatever city you might be in, I mean it's really hard for people to find it, especially if you are a new business. So things that are too vague tend to be hard as well. So there's that middle ground there between either of use, easy to say, and also finding something that's descriptive enough that um, obviously also doesn't exist elsewhere. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have other business questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to the Ojoy YouTube channel.